Excellent. Look at that. Look at that. He's looking right at us. Journey deep into one of the world's last untouched jungles with the intrepid president of Conservation International, Russell Mittermeier. Right Explore there. with him as he seeks the rare primates and native people who call this exotic land home. Venture to Suriname, South America, next on Wild Odyssey. For over two centuries, these dogs have been bloodthirsty hunters. They were trained to aggressively hunt down bears ten times their size and weight. But in a stroke of visionary genius, an accomplished bear biologist recognized that these dogs had potential to be trained to do just the opposite, to turn from killers to keepers. Now this breed is being used to shepherd grizzlies away from populated areas. Get out of here, bear! Due to the perseverance and courage of the Karelian bear dog team, magnificent grizzlies that would once have been shot and killed now have another chance at life. Outdoor Life Network, in conjunction with the United States Forest Service and National Forest Foundation, proudly presents Friends of the Forest. Narrated by John Larroquette. I've always wondered what it was like to stand on the top of one of those hills with the Earth disappearing over a horizon line 3,000 feet below you with a bunch of crevasses all the way around. And I always wondered how light was that powder? I always wondered how exposed was that hill? And then I really wondered was, you know, could I do it? The possibilities are unlimited. Yeah. yeah. My buddy's enthusiasm was obvious. And as excited as I was to be out here, I was just a little bit gripped. Yeah. Looks like I got myself another fine mess with you, Patterson. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Yeah, yeah, Rogers. Yeah. It looked great from the photographs. <laughs> Life in Greenland for the modern day Inuit people has changed substantially from generations of old. However, today's inhabitants are every bit as hardy as those who came before them. Toward the end of the 10th century, Eric the Red, who had been exiled from his previous locations, Norway and Iceland, discovered and named the largest island in the world, Greenland. This is the story of the Men's Journal Adventure Team and our endeavors to climb, ski and kayak in the remotest corners of the Himalayas. Corners of the Himalayas which led us to the high peaks of the Solokumbu mountain range and the white water of the Dudkozi River which drains Mount Everest. I'm Jerry Moffitt, expedition leader.